control over Shulk to just a uh, pretty incredible degree. Just high level use of the Monado arts and a great use of. Oh my god! Yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. Being very ubiquitous, or not ubiquitous, ambiguous using uh, the Monado arts is a really strong factor of Jared's King's gameplay. He fluently transitions between all of the arts whenever he, it best suits him. Look at that, like he's gone shield. through three arts in the matter of a couple of seconds. Yeah, and it's like, yes, this guy has a ginormous sword that kind of does some stuff for you, but to really use this character at a high level, you've got to just be like pretty big brain about like how and when you're picking your, your, art, your art options, when you're making those changes. And right now it's pretty even. No one really taking a super definitive lead. Right, and again, you really can't count out Shulk in any situation because at, at kill percent, he could just hide and shield like that. Any, and any other character would have died by up air there. Yeah. But, but no, Shulk is a cheater. Exactly, yes. He gets iframes on the startup of that as well, so that could help a little bit. But a nice, strong back air. Uncontestable because of the guard point hitbox that Louis Mundy uses there. Yeah. Just able to consistently land those back airs when it counts. And now Jared playing at a deficit, although Shulk in no lacking in terms of approach options and the ability to be aggressive, but just kind of getting punished and getting put into the, the Louis blender. Yeah, Louis Mani's combo game is a cut above. I very rarely see, you know, Chag likes to play a little bit more of a uh, defensive style, you know, waiting for the advantage and then he strikes. Louis Mani's been using a lot of force, a lot of oppression, using these strong disjointed aerials to give himself an advantage and then he takes it for such a long way and just not really getting hit by kind of Jared's game plan. Like, stray hits here and there with some of these back airs, but not getting really caught in the, the Nair blender or like kind of just the blender Ooh. in general that Shulk's able to put on. Nice parry F smash though. I like that, yeah. Um, Palo dash attack is very unsafe on shield. It's even less safe on parry. And look at that, reverse Nair into oh. side B. And he goes for it again. Got a little lost in the sauce on that one. A little and Louis Money stays sauce. alive a little bit longer. Yeah, that's really unfortunate. You can't be throwing away stocks like that against against a player like Louie Money. Yep. Nice uppy as well, though. Peeking above the ledge is Louie Money. He's going to get caught by that. Another Nair. Looking for an art switch. Does not have Smash refreshed yet. Yeah, going to need to wait for that to come back online. All right, here it is. Looking for the down air. Louie Money stalling. Using shield very effectively. Grab, forward throw. Not going to kill. Has jump art active now. Switches back to speed. Oh, F tilt's gonna be the tool. F tilt's trade. just gonna be like, I'm just gonna hit you with F tilt at the ledge. That also works. Yeah. We're seeing in chat right now, as well as on the Smash GG page, that base mage is out of the tournament. The sponsor curse remains true. By Kirby as, players. So yep, by Jaja. Jaja, Jaja. Yeah. One of the best players in the PNW takes that one. And so for sure, the best Kirby player. Oh, like, best player in the world. I, I would say the best Kirby in the world. Yeah. I don't think anyone would uh, disagree with you there, buddy. Nice rising upy though. Louis Money has a lead, but it but has it's evaporated. It's evaporating, yeah, yeah. As we've been talking here, really pulling back into the set. Defense keeping him alive there. Yeah, nice upy as well. I, I like that Jared is king is uh, playing a lot more of a slower paced game, waiting for his arts to recharge so that he can use them as he wants to. God, Shulk is so fast with that. It's actually so crazy. Well, it is called speed. Yeah, it's just like really terrifying to deal with. Yeah. And I love that he's like baiting like he's gonna dash in, but not actually doing it. Right. Just kind of keeping him in the corner. Jump. Yep. Jared just keeps fighting for stage control, but he's not getting it. Nice there. Oh, though. and he catches and it with catches the up air. It. What a jump read. What a jump read. Puts on jump, gives himself a little bit of a boost. And not only do you jump higher when you have jump active, your verticality and uh, your downwards falling are increased by a lot. Yeah. That upbeat, I mean, he rose there so quick. Yeah, that was, that a was ascending like ang angelic wings had just attached to him and just taken him up there. Almost like it was, you know, like, hey, you know, you're an angel from whatever Kid Icarus games. I'm going to come join you up there. Go the back clouds. to once you came. Yeah, go back to once you came. Yeah, putting God back up in heaven because he's too scared of what he's done down here. <laughs> exactly. That's a line from uh, Spy Kids 2. Oh my God! Yeah, <laughs> oh my like God. that sounds like a philosophical discussion. No, Spy Kids, baby. Spy Kids too, folks. That's what we're getting. That's the references we have here. Other people try and reference other pop culture stuff, but we're seasoned here with the Spy Kids two references. Yes, sir. Right now, back on top of things, Louis Money has a lead yet again. But again, we know how poised Jared is King is. 
even in these high stress situations. And I mean, remember, Jared threw away a stock, like he SD. That's and true. And was still able to take that game. So like, assuming Jared does not SD, I mean, gotta be feeling pretty good right now because he really stole that from the jaws of defeat. Yeah, he's rocking the four sparkle tag as well for one of our players here in the scene who uh, was recently horribly injured. And uh, a lot of these players here today rocking the four sparkle tag to show their support. Yeah. That was Love actually advertised it. on the uh, Twitter as well. So, you know, this event, definitely a spiritual successor to our boy. Uh, you know, hopefully you're recovering soon and quickly, and hopefully you're feeling okay, buddy. Yeah, we love you, dude. Come back safe. But what's not safe right now is Palu's aggression against Jared Shield, just getting punished over and over again, really by these kind of bread and butter shulk options. Ooh, nice, just patient, playing on the ledge. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. and he gets it. Gets the backslash right where you want to be positioned. And we've been seeing a lot of reverse hit nairs or forward airs going really quickly across the stage. With Louis Money's back turned to Jared as king, that's why he's been able to go for that for so often. And so much damage, too. Um, I'm just going to say, like, Louis Money just, like, kind of doesn't seem to know what to do against this Shulk. Oh. oh. But another SD. Yeah. Here's another thing, dude. It's too early to call to see who uh, comes out on top of this one, but I don't think it's that Louis Money looks lost or anything like that. I don't think it looks like he's at a disadvantage. I just feel like Jared is King's ability to be explosive in the corner has been keeping him in this match, and he's been able to jump on a lot of opportunities that very few players would recognize that present themselves. <laughs> Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> I love that. I love the triple up B out of shield. I mean, and I think up B out of shield has just been a big factor in this, in this set. Just yeah. Hasn't really found a way to tap his shield and not get punished by it. And he did up B out of shield. I mean, he did up B three times in a row and only got punished once. Yeah, that back air, even weakened by speed, is going to be killing at 110% under that platform. Nice Nair, too. Using another one to get a little bit of extra damage on the board. With I mean, the vertical hitbox that covers is so it's, huge. It's like, yeah, Palu has a really good Nair, but Shulk has a better Nair. Well, mm, I wouldn't well, say that. It's bigger. In this situ it's bigger. It, I sh yeah, you're, you're right. I should rephrase. In this situation, <laughs> when they're clanking and we're trying to jockey for space, Shulks is, is just dominating more more room and not letting not letting Palu get in. But as I say that, I mean, 26% now only separating these players. It's basically even. Yeah, Louis Money definitely back in this thing. Shield Art is active, though. Not taking a lot of damage from those Nair Strings. And Louis Money's actually not able to get a lot of extra damage off of it either. The combo kind of stopped very early. And I think that's part of enough. Like, Louis Money is just really hasn't had the opportunity to get a lot of combos going just because of, I mean, because of the arts. So it's just been much more a scrappy fest between Don't Palu having to get, like, single and double hits to close out stocks. Right. And again, you are nearing kill percent if your name is Jared is King. Looking for the oh. back air. It's not going to happen, though. Louis Money barely misspacing that. Uh oh. oh. And nice this patience. Kill. Yeah, look how barely wow. went anywhere. Again, catching Louis Money turning around. Jump Art is active, going for a F tilt, pivot boosted one. Oh, going for oh, smash. He's dead. he's dead. Yeah, when yeah. you smash on deck, you're for sure dying there. Maybe, I mean, if he had defense art, for sure living. Well, uh, I mean, he wouldn't have been able to do it out of the grab, though. No, yeah, I mean, if he'd had, for, if, for, if he'd had defense on when he got grabbed, maybe, right. maybe he was fine. But with that smash multiplier adding to your... Um, I don't know what the multiplier is, but, you know, making you more vulnerable. It's a lot. It's, it's a pretty good amount. Yeah. No, Smash Art has a lot of weaknesses, actually. Like, it, you take a lot more knockback, and you deal way less damage. You do virtually no damage. It's, yeah, it's kind of great. I wonder if there's there's got to be somewhere, I'm sure, within some, you know, Shulk Discord. There's got to be some spreadsheet that has, like, mathed out all of the arithmetic for, like, the different Monados. But I don't even know. I don't know if people actually know for certainty what all the, what all the like, stats are. I'm going to be real with you. This character is, like, five different characters. Six different characters, actually, in one. Because each of each of the arts has such different properties. Like, this is a stat change character at its finest. You don't get a whole new move set, but your moves that Do accomplish the same stuff. purchase, yeah, deal, deal more damage, deal less damage, and are more useful in certain situations. It's great. All right, getting a pretty commanding zero to, what is this, 93 started here? Just really dominating neutral and not allowing Jared to get anything Ooh. started. But it's starting to get a little, some some stray hits here. Yeah, Buster is active as well, so one hit's gonna take a lot of damage. Yep, a nice little two piece there. 65% on Louis Money, and he's already in Smash Art. Oh, the jab one check into grab. I love the option. Yep, using Shield Art to stall a little bit off stage. 
Speed Art's gonna come out. You are lighter when you have Speed Art active, and your recovery's a little bit worse, but you do have Jump active as well now. And a nice little bit of Aerial Drift is gonna help Jared's King survive that, despite the fact that he probably could have died there. Yeah, looking for the kill here. Oh, and the back air was just a little too slow against the dash attack. Right, and the guard point dash attack, uncontestable either. Especially, it's really good at catching opponent's landing. Oh, and was looking for that kill there, but the DI was correct and not able to take the kill just yet. All right. Not going to catch an up air either, but a oh, nice F smash for your troubles. Only 33% of extra credit. Yeah. Essentially even, although going to eat some combo damage there. And yeah, you can't, can't stay away from Paolo too much. She does have some zoning options yeah. that she'll pester you with. Camping out Buster is a very smart idea from Louie Money, because if your projectiles hit, they're doing a lot of amplified damage. But if you get hit, you're taking a lot of amplified damage yourself. So hiding behind them, not a bad idea in this situation. I'd actually recommend it. Yeah, and if you're, when you're in the lead, you know, you just got to acknowledge that and be like, at the end of the day, not that if any of these players ever go for going for timeouts, but it's more just like you're in the, you are in a bit of a driver's seat situation. You can dictate a little bit more of the pace. Right, but then again, man, it looked like such a big lead for Jared is King, or for Louis Money, but like two hits and it's pretty much close to even now. Have to see. Oh, and that's not going to quite kill just yet. He is jump art, though. He's going to make it back. Nice oh, ball in the there. Oh, the drop down there. Has to up again. Make it back to ledge. Shield art probably going to come up. Yep, and there it is. Waiting for Buster Taking to come back. Whoa, that was an Brazen. interesting little inter interaction there with the jab one. Nice Ooh, up tilt. Ooh, the up tilt. Not a common move you see, but you can confirm into that, and actually has pretty good kill potential off the top. Yeah, no one really talks about it either. Like, a lot of people are like, oh, you know, that move sucks, but really good at killing in a lot of situations, as you just saw a second ago. All right, looking for that smash art to come in, and not going to get the kill. Just, oh, and looking for the raw F smash. Yeah, jumping back to ledge, though. Using an uppy a little bit early, not going to catch Louie Money. At 80, or 90, yeah, sorry, 89%. All right. Kind of getting corner trapped right now. Ooh, un here's the thing though, is like up Bs are just not getting punished. Like Luis is not punishing him that often because it's kind of like ambiguous if he's gonna land on the platform or fall through. Oh, looking for a back throw, not gonna kill just yet. A little bit too far away from the edge of the stage. Looking for the spike, not gonna get it either. Up tilt will do it. Nice roll read there from yeah. Jared's King. This now is gonna be so pivotal here. Who goes up two to one in yeah. this set? I mean, a flex game like this is super important for anyone to win because you guarantee yourself if this goes to a game five, you have counter pick advantage. Exactly, yeah. And I don't think it's making a huge difference in this particular match, but I do think that there are some particular stages that with Shulk's giant sword, you don't want to deal with and the way it interacts with platforms. That definitely could be a factor if this does end up going to a game five. I love that patience there from Jared is king too. Not going right back to the ledge immediately because that lingering up smash probably would have killed. Definitely would have killed. Oh, he's got caught oh, by it, yeah. though. Wasn't able to switch to shield art in time. Uh, you can actually do it during multi-hits, like that side B, but just a little bit too little, too late. And yeah. that is Louis Money going up. Two to one in his favor. One more game. And he punches the ticket into top eight. Gosh, it's crazy. This bracket is we're just we're moving here. A lot right. faster than you would expect. Yeah. And, you know, shout-outs to... Um, Everyone on the shout outs to production, shout outs to everyone on the floor, including myself. I just came out, my voice is a little hoarse because I just finished yelling at people for running the bracket. Yeah, shout outs you, to you everyone. Were pool captain as well. I was pool captain again. Yeah. Shout outs to everyone who just makes this makes it all happen. And thanks you, all the viewers at home, for tuning in. Yep. Um, you guys are the reason we do it. We love putting on productions like these for you. And we love presenting these awesome high level players in a compelling way. So Yep, follow us here on BTS Smash 2, as well as follow us, follow us on the Satellite Smash stream, which is where all the other matches that aren't on right now are being played. And we are in Kalos, which is a Oregon special, because this stage is not legal in Washington. Um, I don't know if it's you guys have it in Tri-State. Um, we have it. But um, kind of an interesting interesting choice. So I mean, like, ginormous, and those platforms at the side, we'll have to see. Yeah. Ooh, oh, okay. Well, a little bit of extra credit, I guess. Yeah. Just wanted to make absolutely certain wasn't getting back. Shield art is active coming down here. Jared is king. Trying to mitigate the damage a little bit, but Louis Money Ooh. putting on a lot of pressure. Going out there. 
I like it. I like the I like the aggression. When you have jump active, you might as well burn the most of it, especially when you're in advantage. And a nice falling back air to give himself a little bit of leeway back to stage. Speed Art is active now as well. Gonna get met with a Nair. Caught off the ground. Dash attack, dealing a little bit of extra damage. Trying to find openings here to get out of the corner. Oh, I like the idea, seeing if there's gonna be a jump in. Hasn't been able to get any spikes or really just like edge, shulk edge guards. Um, oh, and just gonna call that out with just a raw down smash. Yeah. Like that upbeat to punish the down tilt at ledge. One of Palutena's best ledge trapping options. Ooh. And I love using the extra drift and the extra fall speed there on jump to get that stock. And it's crazy how Shulk can just go out there like a freaking just demon out of hell and just come down in the corner and still comfortably get back to stage. Yeah. You ain't safe, man. Yeah, uh. really not. Back throw's gonna kill. Yeah, that's gonna kill. Well, winner side stock here for Jared is King, who is looking to two-peat his position in the top eight here at right. Back in Blood. And Louis Money looking to just continue his tear into top eight. And I don't, Louis, I, I would guess Louis Money is the one seed. I don't know. I would. Uh, Louis Money's not the one seed. It is actually Send. Oh, is it Send? Okay. Um, I think Louis Money is actually our fourth, fourth seed. I think he's behind Fatality, who is now in losers bracket, and Elegant. Oh. Who, who did Fatality lose to? Fatality lost to Paul, uh, Paul Kage. Oh, right. We were just... <laughs> <laughs> it's Sorry. been a minute. Don't it's worry been about a it. Minute. Sometimes, you know, sometimes we forget things that we literally just watched. But anyways, we're, we're, we're here looking at potential tournament, our winner side stock here. Louis is one? Hang on. Am I crazy? Oh, he is one. You're right. I'm sorry, chat. Nice up smash. Okay. Woo. 